The start as well as Chase qualifies next. Two miles, six and a half furlongs again. 0 to 120. Waldorf Project might lead them at the top. Jennifer Connolly, Matt Cooper. Crogging Detail, James Shea. Ipanema Plod, Alex Cherry. Ortia Abbey, Matt Cooper. Elvis Martin, Lidham. Marsh Tit, Graham Clutterbuck. And Violet's No Weighty for Alex Cherry. A field of eight. So just eight again. Four will qualify that away. And racing. And undersubscribed this week, the starters orders races maybe everyone's got in the hunter i haven't seen how big the fields are for the hunters but i'm sure they're bigger than they have been over recent weeks gray i'll be taking you through them to end the week and it looks like elvis is going to be driven up into his usual position of leader in the noseband from Altia abbey in second then croggy in detail jennifer connolly Waldorf project also close up looking towards the back violence no weighty is the back marker as they get over the third Elvis led from Jennifer Connolly in second and then Ipanema Plod on the outside is now third as they take that smallish ditch and Waldorf projects a fauna there the top weight's gone at what looks like the smallest fence on the course which is just about summing up my season to be fair and Elvis is in front from Jennifer Connolly second Ipanema Plod third Crogging detail back in fourth then the blinkered Violet's No Weighty. I'm pretty sure they look like blinkers on Violet's No Weighty. Then Altia Abbey and Marsh Tit the back marker. Uh, skipping over that ditch. Elvis probably going to do his usual trick. Go off blazing a trail and then just completely hit the wall with about three furlongs to go and finish last. But it's Ipanema Plod in second as they get over the seventh. Jennifer Codley third, Krogeen Detail fourth. In all tier and we march tip and virus no weighty. Elvis likes to go off in the lead so much. I'm thinking of offering him to John Morgan. For sale. He could fit nicely in John Morgan's stable. He likes to go off in the lead. Over number nine. And Elvis in front. If I need my plot second. Crogging detail third, and then Jennifer Connolly four, with a bit of a gap to Marsh Tit and Violet's No Weighty and Altia Abbey. That's the winning post with a circuit to go. I'm going to give away too many stable secrets, but I'm pretty keen to get Elvis qualified for the final so he can be a pacemaker in the final because he can. Run as many horses as you like in the final they qualified. Not actually won this, the final of this. I think the last three seasons, or maybe even the last four seasons. I was won it in my first season as well. So I either won it the last three and I won it four times, or I won it the last four and I won it five times. I think I've only won it the last three and then won it in the first season as well. So I think I won this final four times. So it's a bit of a target for me most seasons. And if I can get Elvis qualified, he's really a three miler. And he likes to blaze the trail at the front. And he is effective at a 2.6 as well. But if I can get him in a 2.5 mile, I've off in the front. He might just set the pace around that Liverpool track and get a few of them thinking about it. But anyway, it's Elvis in the lead. And qualifying first. Ipanema Plod is second as they get over the 11th. And Crogging Detail is third. Violet's no weighty back in fourth. Jennifer Connolly, Altier Abbey, and finally Marsh Tit. Into fence 12 they go. Elvis was over that one nicely and still bowling along well in the lead. That's the one that Waldorf Project went at last time. They all got over it okay this time. And Elvis in front over the 14th. With Croggy in detail and Ipanema Plod getting closer. In Violet's no waiting, Jennifer Connolly and then all tier Abbey Marsh Tit, the one who's struggling at the back at the moment. Got five furlongs to go. And Elvis just being scrubbed along in the lead. Croggy in detail in second. Ipanema Plod is third. One that's making good ground is Violet's no weighty. 
as they take the 15th over that ditch they go Elvis still continuing to lead from Ipanema Plot here comes Violet's no weighty on the outside now throwing down a big challenge Crogging Detail is still there then Jennifer Connolly and Ortier Abbey Marsh Tit starting to run on this is the third last Elvis got over that one nicely and has kicked on again he suddenly finds himself six lengths clear again now from Jennifer Connolly in second and then Crogging Detail Ipanema Plot and Violet's no weighty they're heading down towards the final two and now this is where Elvis normally hits the wall and he does as Crog in detail goes on Crog in detail from Jennifer Connolly Eponema Plot goes into third or Tier Abbey moves into fourth and Crog in detail is in front over the final fence from Jennifer Connolly Jennifer Connolly on the outside this could be a Matt Cooper treble inside the final furlong Jennifer Connolly is taking it up Crog in detail is fighting back Crog in detail on this near side Jennifer Connolly on the far side it's going to be Crog in detail that's going to take it Crog in detail wins it from Jennifer Connolly second big gap back to Ipanema Plod and Altea Rabbit then Violet's no waiting Marsh Tit and then Elvis who ended up last as predicted and James Shea takes it with Croggy in detail Jennifer Codley was second for Matt Cooper Ipanema Plod Alex Cherry third Altea Rabbit Matt Cooper fourth they don't qualify Violet's no waiting for Alex Cherry was fifth that's me done for the week uh, I'll pass you over to Gray now he's going to take you through the extended well the Hunters were there we extended to 110 this week so there's some bigger fields in the Hunters so enjoy the Hunters and we'll catch you next week